Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna show you how you can check your bearings on your trailer. You're gonna to wanna to use a jack and a jack stand as well as have the vehicle wheel chucked on the other side so it doesn't move forwards or backwards. Once you have the wheels up, you're just gonna be shaking the wheels and adjusting. So stay tuned to learn how. All right, so to check your trailer bearings, you wanna grab from either side of the wheel and you'll shake them. And when you shake them like this, you'll see here that there's way too much play. Now, what's really actually pretty cool about trailers is that once this is just a serviceable item, you'll actually just turn this nut here and you'll hand snug it. And just by hand snugging it, you have no play. So once you have no play and your hand tight, that's actually where these like to be, is at this zero lash type of place where there's no play. Now, sometimes there's just a hair of play. Maybe you can hear that little thump thump and you don't really want that. You just want to hand tighten it and shake it to make sure that there's no play. And that's what's going to give you a longer bearing life. Now, when you spin it, if you hear a whole bunch of dust and material behind the drum, you'll want to go ahead and pull this assembly apart. But we'll save that for another video. Once you're done adjusting your bearing here, what you'll go ahead and do is you'll grab your keeper. Now, some of these trailers have cotter pins. Other trailers have keepers. So you'll go ahead and grab your keeper, line it up and snug it up in here. Now, if you have a castle nut with a cotter pin, that's what you'll need to use instead. And once you have this guy in place, you can go ahead and put your cap back on. Now, this is your dust shield and you tap this off with a hammer and you tap it on with a hammer. And the best look that I have is using a rubber mallet to not deform them. So as you tap it back on in a circle, you'll go ahead and be able to put it back on. To take this thing off, you'll just want to tap it in a circle and then she'll pop right on off. Now, if it's a brand new one, you probably aren't going to have that much luck that quickly early on. When they're older, you can knock them on and knock them off really easily, which is actually not what you want. So your first one, you may need to use a very small screwdriver and just gently tap it in a circle to get this cap to pop off. Then you can adjust your nut. Now this here is an easy lube. And basically what this is for, this easy lube right here is to allow you to easily get into your Zerk fitting to get access to that rear bearing. So to grease that, Grab a grease gun, put it in here, and just pump it with a few pumps of grease. You don't want to go too much. If you do too much grease in here, what you'll end up doing is blowing out that rear seal and getting a whole bunch of grease inside your brake shoes. 